Will Bitcoin lose support under 28k? Hello people, I'm the Naked Trader and today I will analyze Bitcoin USDT Telenet Group PancakeSwap USDT Coinbase Global Incorporated Cult DAO USDT and Ethereum USDT We will start with Bitcoin at the monthly chart Will it lose support if we lose the 28k? Let's find it out in today's analyze. By the way, don't forget subscribe, join Team Naked Trader so you don't miss out any opportunity, any week updates, and special coin analyzes during the week. Okay, peeps, let's start. This is the monthly chart. Last month we had a green closure, very nice. And now we are trying to find support somewhere for the next bounce. From the monthly, I will change to the weekly. Small candle, um, so let's see how we will close today. Uh, the weekly candle compression is here, and after compression follows extension as known. Okay, from the weekly, I will change to the daily, and I will also make last week's plan visible. So we are having heavy resistance at 29,400 as you can see here the plan so if you're in a short that's okay for now i will wait for the next move because we are already compressed a lot so either you're already in a position in a long or in a short and else it will be scalping You see here it was the resistance still remaining as support and now the next move will come either we will go back all the way to 26k or even below or we will go upwards around 32k and then we can enter on the pullback around 29,000 so last week's plan still valid for now so from bitcoin usdt i will go to telenet group and i will start at the monthly chart after we lost almost 80 percent of its all-time high we bounced up at the monthly chart here So, as you can see, I will show you. As you can see here at the monthly chart, we tested the lows of 2008 here and we hold. And now trying to go upwards. Already a monthly gain of this construction candle drop off. So let's find out in the weekly what it is yeah this was support here is resistance now okay go to the weekly let's go back This is very interesting point fifteen point twenty eight. Okay, let's go to now. I'll change to the daily and I'll make a plan for the coming days. I 
also the CME cap around 1528 so very interesting area to enter for a long let's see how much it is oh almost 40 percent for the rejection play that's very nice for a stock So either enter on the pullback around 15.28 and trying to break the 21.20. Let me see the daily one more time. Yeah, or if we manage to go up from here, then an entry around 2120 for the next step. So these two scenarios will be valid. This one is the most interesting one. Entry around 1528. And let's see how much this will be. Also almost 30%, very nice. Okay, that's the plan for Telenet Group. And from Telenet Group, I will go to Pancake Swap USDT. We are at the daily chart. Okay, this was a previous plan. And this one worked out if we lose the $2.86, then it didn't look good. As you can see, yeah, let's go to the weekly. I will make the plan invisible. Yeah, we are at the all time lows. All time lows for pancake swap, not looking good. Currently in a free fall modus because there's no history we don't we don't know when it will stop okay i will remove the plans and make a new plan so this was the last line of defense $2.86 And at the daily chart, $2.54. Okay, so for now, I would recommend you to just keep your hands off and wait and see when the downtrend will stop. And then we will wait for a move like this. Oh, wait. Then we will wait for a move like this. So a um, high and high, a low, high, high. And then entry around here. But what do we want to see then? Also a gain of the last drop off. So I prefer to see the gain high, high, and then an entry from here for the next so hands off until we see the uh, different uh, kind of construction instead of the downwards to an upwards not looking good for pancakes up at this moment
Okay, so that's the plan for Pancake Swap. Just hands off, wait for the for the gain of the drop off, and then enter. And from Pancake Swap, I will go to Coinbase. Okay, the weekly chart. Currently long range between 46, 78 since May 2022. This was the lower range and we are now in this range. We tested it, the, the drop off here and bounce from there. So the drop off at $47. And have a bounce. No weekly gain of this drop off, the $71, $72. Let's go to the daily. At the daily chart, we do have a daily gain. Here, this red candle and this green candle, a gain of this drop off. So I will make a plan for the coming days. So either again retest and try to break the $103 Or it will be a rejection, and then we will probably go either back to the start of the impulse here, the forty-seven dollar, go and test the sixty dollar, and if we somehow lose the forty-seven dollar area, then the next test will be around $36. So yeah, that's the plan for Coinbase. And from Coinbase, I will go to Cult DAO versus USDT. Currently at the daily chart, also not looking good. Yeah, this was the all-time low before. And no daily gain. And we went lower. This whole area got tested out over here with a lot of selling pressure which caused that we lost support here and from the daily chart I will go to the 4 hour let me remove the brushes We do have a four hour gain. From this, this is the, the red candle is the gain. 
that we lost support so i prefer after a long downtrend like this we need to see a daily gain not a four hour gain daily gain the higher the time frame the stronger it is and now this resulted the same as pancake swap that we lost the all-time lows and now we do want to see a similar action as i've drawn in with pancake swap so example we do want to see where's my brush we do want to see a gain of the four hour drop off so on high on higher low higher high and then an entry around here for the next push so also for now hands off wait until we see another an upwards construction instead of a downwards construction so yeah that's the plan for cult dow usdt and from cult dow i will go to ethereum i will make last week's plan invisible and change to the monthly chart we also closed a green month for ethereum So we held above the 1686, still rejection of the 1930 at the monthly. From the monthly I will change to the weekly. Okay. And I will make last week's plan visible and change to the daily. So this was the plan from two weeks ago and this was the plan that I added last week. Both are still valid for now. Yesterday or the day before we rejected the 1998 area and that's come from here. So either we will go and go up and test the two, uh, 2142 from here or we will go down probably around 1668 and try to hold support over there. So also last week plan still valid for the coming days. And yeah, so that was it for Ethereum. I want to thank you guys for watching this week's episode. Don't forget, join Team Naked Trader so you don't miss out any week updates. Smash the like button and thank you guys for watching this week's video. Cheers, bye bye.